morning my loves welcome back to another video welcome back to my channel if it's your first time here you are welcome thank you so much for clicking on this video if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for tuning back in so in today's video i'm going to be sharing with you five tips on how to set up your rate as a freelance makeup artist or as a freelance upcoming makeup artist so these are some of the things i've done and that has helped me and i'm definitely going to be sharing that with you here and if that sounds like something you want to watch please stick around and keep on watching So I know setting up a rate as an upcoming makeup artist can be a struggle, especially if you're starting up in the industry. I can relate to that. It's something I have struggled with based on research that I've done and asking a few of my friends who are makeup artists too and how they were able to gauge between fixing their rate and adjusting their rate. I decided to make this video and share with you guys. I've been in your shoes. I know what it feels like and I would like to make this easy for you if you're starting up and would like to adjust your rate or you want to fix a rate. So the first step I would like to let you know is know your local market. Do a research in the area you want to do the makeup. Let's say it's Port Harcourt you want to stay at and there's a particular place in Port Harcourt you want to do the makeup. Do a market research in that area. If there are other makeup artists there, know what it, their rate card is like. Reach out to them. If they are generous and nice, they will let you know. Or you could just go in there pretending to be a client know how much they charge to be able to adjust yours so it doesn't seem like yours is way up here and then there's this year so you want to know your local market the local area wherever it is you're setting up do your market research so you know how much certain people are charging in that area and don't oversell yourself like don't go too high and you don't sell yourself too short okay so the next step i'll be letting you know is don't put a price on your business card if you have a business card you should have a business card not if you're supposed to have a business card because you are a brand you're a professional brand so you're supposed to have a business card okay and if you give out your business card to people do not put your price on it nobody does that please what should be on your business card should be your address your phone number your social media platform handles and then maybe a few of your works that you've done but not your rate card okay please do not do that make sure your pricing is not on your business card if you do that cross it off your list okay the next step i'll let you know is know your skill level and your years of experience let's assume you've been in the industry for a year that's based on your skill level you're someone who slays every bit of your makeup back to back charge based on that you know your worth charge your worth you create something you know the value you bring to the table don't let anybody make you feel like whatever you bring to the table is not enough i sometimes i do that myself but it only takes one minute for me to reset my brain and then tell myself that okay you can't do this to yourself you have to be able to tell yourself that okay i can do this i know my skill level and i know my level of experience in this business and i know what i bring to the table another good thing is have friends in the business or in the line that supports you and they're the kind of people that gives you or drives that positive energy towards you okay so sometimes it can be hard but have the right circle around you and you're good to go so know your skill level and your years of experience charge based on that don't do because i have 500 followers or 1000 followers i know upcoming makeup artists that have 1000 followers instagram followers and see their works and see the kind of clients they work on i mean you don't have to have like 10k to be able to put this off no if you have 1000 and you bring badass beats to the table you create badass content so makeup on clients are like bombshell that's enough for you to fix your price like sit down gallant on your price and whoever that wants to book you will book you if they don't book you they are not your clients so don't stress on it okay the next tip would be add your self-employment taxes okay you are self-employed you work for your brand so make sure you add your money to it okay make sure you're paying yourself a certain percentage for working because you're a staff of your brand don't do because okay i own this brand and you're not paying yourself hey no nah, girl don't do that make sure you add small money or remove like five percent for your personal upkeep oh don't just put everything and into the business try and remove something for your safe you go so make sure you're paying I'm sorry. <laughs> make sure you're paying yourself some small percentage for all of the work you've done or you've been doing okay you deserve that same way you pay your staff your personal assistant or studio artists that work for you make sure you pay yourself okay so the next tip i'm going to be letting you know is know the quality of your kit and your supplies you know how much money you've invested into your makeup kit take that into consideration you buy huda beauty you buy fenty beauty you buy l'oreal you buy um chanel what other international brands again are there estee lauda you know all those top top big names and then you're not charging my dear please 
it's not it's not um what i used to buy all of those products it's money okay so make sure you put that into consideration when you're charging or when you're trying to draft your rate card take account of that make your brand look presentable make it look professional you pay taxes to yourself take that into consideration your studio um your studio bill take that into consideration nepa bill take that into consideration and draft your rate card the next tip i'll be letting you know is determine travel based jobs okay so let's take for instance you have to travel outside for a job especially if it's not within your geographical location like you're staying in lagos and the job is not within lagos you have to travel anywhere to do any of these jobs make sure you charge like put your travel fee there okay as well as probably your accommodation put everything in it and let whoever it is that you're working on if it's a bride know that okay well, this is why this is costing so so amount if <clears throat> if they ask if they do not ask, I'm sure they would know that, okay, this is why this is happening. They are having to transport you from here to another place, all right? So make sure you do this and let them know that, okay, this is why I'm charging so, so, so amount. And I think another tip I would like to add under this determine your travel-based job is also determine how much you spend on marketing yourself. For instance, you subscribe every month, if not every month, every week put that into consideration subscribe to get active on instagram all of the things you do just to stay there post up your work the money you spend on shoots to put out good shoots and then they see this your clients see this they book you based on that shoot everything that happened behind the scene eh the fuel the money for booking the model the costume rentage all those things try and infuse like probably Try and infuse two to five percent or max five percent into your rate card, okay? So at least you get you're making profit and not making a loss, all right? Okay, babies, okay, besties. These are all the tips I figured I wanted to share with you guys. All of the things I've added to my rate card has helped me in generating a very good rate card for myself. Trust me, when you do this, at first it's going to feel crazy because people will be like, ah, this is how much you used to charge. Why is it like this? If you feel you have the need to explain to them, fine, do that. It's your brand. Whatever you decide to do with your brand, do it. Don't let anybody tell Even me say, don't let me tell you what to do. If you not see that it's not going to help you, don't do it, okay? Just look at it and then gauge if it's going to be beneficial to you. If you feel that telling this particular client, okay, they will understand, fine, do that. And if the client understands that, okay, this is why you're charging so, so rate and they pay you, these are your clients. These are your loyal clients, okay? Not the ones that you will tell them and they'll be like, no, I can't afford it. And, and they go somewhere else. My dear, leave them. It's normal. Don't carry, don't, don't carry any beef with anybody. It's just normal. As you upgrade your skill, upgrade your money, okay? As you upgrade your kids, Take it up notch a bit okay so that's how you should get, be let let there be balance not upgrading yourself and then you're selling yourself short it doesn't work that way the more you go for training the more you sign up for classes to update yourself update your rate card you need it you're updating your skill level so you should update your rate card anybody that see your worth should be able to book you so <laughs> try to make this video as short as possible so i don't like be all over the place but i just hope i was able to pass across my thoughts to you guys i hope this helps somebody out there if not everybody but if it's able to like do something for one or two people i don't mind and i'm grateful that you clicked on this video to watch it thank you so much for watching up until this moment if you are still here and you're still watching thank you thank you thank you Mwah. i love you and i can't wait to see you guys in my next video please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and hit the subscribe button if you've not subscribed to my channel i think by now you should know that i don't hide anything i bring everything out like i just put everything on the table okay so please subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out whenever i upload and turn on your notification bell that one is the coco so once i drop you are the first to know so thank you babies thank you besties thank you so much i will see you guys in my next video all right bye i love you kisses <laughs>